Welcome to Scott Combs VoiceOvers Podcast, helping you start and grow your online voiceover business. I'm Scott. At the beginning of most any voiceover career, you won't necessarily have the ideal environment to work in. Background noise can be a problem that keeps you from getting work. So let's talk about a tool you can use to solve the problem. Often the term background noise is used to describe noise or hiss that can be heard between words or sentences. In a worst case scenario, the noise can be heard even when you're speaking, and that's very hard to deal with. You can't use that audio. You need to be in a quieter place. The volume of the noise in evidence is called the noise level or noise floor, since it's typically the softest sound on your recording. If the voiceover you're recording is going to be paired with sound effects and music, and your noise floor is relatively low, you're in pretty good shape, because the noise will be covered by the other audio elements. However, if your read is to stand alone, the hand of the glove is on the other foot. Now, I have a pretty good studio setup, but I still have some noise I like to get rid of. Here's how I do it. This is a plug-in channel strip for my DAW by Metric Halo. As you can see here, it has a noise gate, a compressor, and an equalizer. We're focusing on the gate today. I've highlighted some noise from a recent episode of the podcast to give you an idea of what I'm hearing. I'll be turning the volume way up because while I'm listening to high-end studio monitors, likely you're not. So here's what the noise sounds like. It's on a loop so we can get a good feel for it. I'll turn the gate on and off a few times to let you hear the difference. Now, here are the controls for the gate. This is the setting I use in most cases because it takes care of the noise I don't want to hear and leaves the noise I do want to hear alone, most of the time. If I get too aggressive, I can begin to affect the read, like this. On television shows or on movie sets or something, you know, a guy with a boom pole is holding that, that thing over his head and it's pointing down and into the talent. That's how I like to use this one the best, but in this particular room, um, there's a switcher running, I mean, right next to me. Hear that? It's always a balancing act, and your ears are the best tools you have to tell you if you have it right or not. Noise gates are simple tools that can get very complex. That's why I like this one. I spend less time messing with it and more time getting on with business. Just so you know, I have no relationship with Metric Halo. I just use the stuff. There's another gate I'm going to try, and I'll show you how that one works when I do. Otherwise, use this information to make your recordings sound better. Maybe you could tell me if you feel comfortable trying a noise gate after seeing this. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to know more about how to talk for a living, check out the rest of the channel or one of the videos on screen now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.